it sucks. I got the MRI results back and they weren't what we had hoped for. Two herniated discs, both with nerve root compression as well as spondylosis. In today's video, we're talking about injuries and how to stay motivated through an injury or if you're rehabbing a current injury because I've been through it before and every time I get a message on Instagram or Facebook or an email about someone who's dealing with an injury and they ask me for my advice on how to stay motivated, it breaks my heart because I know how bad it sucks and I've been through this before and that's the reason why I share my experience with you guys. I'm not going to talk about injuries if I've never dealt with them before. So I've dealt with a lot of shit. Back in it's been so long now, 2007 or 2008, I was in a really bad car accident and I was on bed rest for months. So I couldn't do shit. I couldn't even read a book or watch TV because I damaged my eye so bad, my left eye, that I had partial vision loss and it was so sensitive to light that I actually had to lay in bed and wear an eye patch. So I know what it's like to not be able to do anything and it's easy to lose motivation that way. And then fast forward back in 2014, I dealt with a lower back injury. So when your life is centered around lifting and fitness and nutrition and health and you're told that you can't do certain things in the gym it sucks really bad so i made an entire video series on youtube documenting my recovery 50 episodes long and i decided to share that journey with youtube because i knew that other people can relate to it so i understand how much it sucks but i also know the power of what it can bring you and what it could do for you if you're willing to share that experience and look at it as i don't want to say something positive but just have a different viewpoint on it. Look, one thing I can't do is tell you how you should rehab your injury. People know that I injured my lower back and I share that experience. So people naturally come to me and ask me how they could fix their lower back injury or their sciatica because they know that I did it. And that video ended up going viral with now almost 3 million views, which is my most viewed video on my channel. And I had no intentions of that. So I'm glad that it was able to help people. The, the feedback was amazing on it. People were so positive, but Again, it wasn't a video giving medical advice. It was just me sharing what had helped me out. I went to a medical professional. I did a ton of research, a ton of homework, and I treated my recovery just like I would my training. So giving it 110% effort, really putting the time and the focus into it, and that's not what a lot of people do. They just look at it like, oh, this sucks, and they don't take it serious. So that's the first thing I'm gonna say is see a medical professional and seek out more than one. So don't just go to a chiropractor if your back's giving you pain. Go to a physiotherapist or a physical therapist or a sports therapist and talk to different people and get referrals and find someone who understands stands lifting that can actually help you rehab this properly. So one of the biggest takeaways I want you guys to get from this video is do not go to someone else who lifts in the gym and ask them for advice on rehabbing your injury because every injury is individual. So what I dealt with might be similar to what you're dealing with, but it might be completely different internally. So my herniated disc might have been a posterior bulge and yours might be lateral so if you're trying to do the exercises that I did you could be screwing yourself up further so I say please see a medical professional for this I know when you get injured it's easy to think why me and you feel like you're the only person I promise you more people than you think have dealt with injuries just look through the people in your subscription box that you follow on YouTube I bet the greater majority of them have dealt with an injury and probably shared it on YouTube and told you how much it sucked but guess what happened they bounced back and they got stronger and that's all part of the process so one thing you have to do is build that healthy and positive attitude because I've been there before I've done the why me shit and it doesn't make anything any better and I know that you could feel depressed and actually disconnected because the thing that you love is taken away from you or you can't do it the way you're used to doing it but you have to just treat your recovery as you would your training give it the same effort and turn it into a journey just like you do with your lifting and it's easier said than done but listen you have to be willing to accept the restriction and keep yourself motivated so think of it this way with an injury you're going to feel a void there's going to be a hole in your day and that's your training maybe it's your deadlifts or your squats whatever it is it's up to you to decide whether or not you want to fill that void and fill that hole with something or just leave it empty the people who leave it empty are the people who sit on the couch and they bitch and they complain and they think why me and that doesn't do anything to get anything better they focus on the things that they can't control instead of focusing on what they can control they give all their energy towards the things that they can't do instead of focusing on things that they can do if you care so much about training and your health and your fitness then you'll care twice as much about your recovery and coming back stronger so you might have to do the things that you never wanted to do in the first place which may have caused your injury think about an injury is your body's maybe telling you something one you were a dumbass and you tried to lift with your ego and you did something you shouldn't have been doing and we're all guilty of that at some point but the other is maybe your body's saying you neglected this and now you're paying for it so 
A lot of guys don't like training their glutes because it looks stupid. Whatever the case is, it's becoming more and more popular and people are noticing it's not only having direct carryover into getting stronger in their big compound lifts like their squats and their deadlifts, but it's also keeping them safe and keeping their lower back healthy. A lot of people have a very weak core, so they don't want to do any core exercises like the bird dogs or the dead bugs or any of the things that have you on the ground not moving heavy weight because they're not cool, but they're the things that keep you safe, keep you healthy, and allow you to progress and reduce the risk of injury. So start taking those exercises a lot more serious. And if you're dealing with an injury now and you can't squat and you can't deadlift and you can't do whatever movement it is, find something that you can do and find something that's going to help you come back stronger. Maybe that's yoga. Maybe you put off stretching and meditating or whatever it is, foam rolling, anything that you put off because it wasn't cool or you didn't think you need it and maybe that's why you got injured, now start to take that serious. So you have to set new goals for yourself and find new ways to motivate yourself. So I think you guys get the point of this video now. Just remember, you're not alone if you're injured and look at this setback as a setup for a comeback. You're going to come back stronger. You're going to come back better if you take this serious and use the time that you would spend loading plates on the deadlift, which takes an hour, to learn something new. So maybe you can only go in the gym and stretch. That's cool. Take that serious and then take some of that extra time and learn a new hobby. Start a website, start a blog, take an online class, interact with other people and share your recovery strategies with them. There is so much you can do and laying on the bed bitching about it is never going to make things better. So just go on Facebook. I'm sure you could type in powerlifting injuries and you're going to find a group of injured powerlifters who are sharing what they're doing to get better. And this doesn't just go for powerlifters, but just to give you an idea, there's people out there dealing with the same shit as you so take your recovery serious. Even me to this day, I still deal with acute low back pain sometimes, but because I spend so much time on my glutes and my core and all that, things are much better. I go for a daily walk and I feel amazing. So you are not alone. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you were able to really understand the message that I'm trying to share with you guys. Look, see how out of breath I am? I should be working on my cardio. But if you guys did enjoy the video, smash that thumbs up button. That really helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And leave a comment down below and let us know. Let us know if you've dealt with an injury or you're dealing with an injury. Drop it in the comments and maybe you can inspire someone or share you know, some of the exercises that you enjoy. Again, the comment section is not for medical advice. But just by sharing your story, you might be able to inspire someone. So thanks again for your support, guys. I appreciate it. And we'll catch you all in the next video.